not so long ago. I was talking about the age of the self-driving car being just around the corner, but honestly, that is a bit of a misnomer because the age of the self-driving car is one which will gradually come into existence and already is. It's not something that will not exist one day and then suddenly exist the next because most automakers are putting semi-autonomous technology into their cars today. Take Tesla, for example. It's already got semi-autonomous autopilot tech available to owners of hardware-equipped Teslas. And later this year, Nissan will roll out the next-gen Leaf with its own semi-autonomous tech. And then there's Audi, whose flagship A8 sedan debuted last week in Spain with enough autonomous hardware to allow it to drive itself in heavy highway traffic. Yet Audi says it won't be able to turn on that level three autonomous vehicle technology in parts of the world until legislation has been set. Simply put, as Audi, Tesla, Nissan, and the rest of the automotive world are learning, legislation is really starting to hold back the very technology which could make our roads safer, smarter, and our lives a lot easier. Or is it? Essentially, as Automotive News noted this week, cars with advanced semi-autonomous or fully autonomous technology are being contained by state, city, country, county, or province lines because the way in which autonomous vehicle legislation is being written. Some places are open to the idea of autonomous vehicles, while others are not. And since most automakers don't want to be involved in massive court cases involving someone using their technology where it wasn't yet legal, the majority of car companies are playing it safe, despite having thousands of miles of test track data to suggest their cars are almost ready for prime time. So what's the holdup? Well, honestly, I think it's a lack of understanding when it comes to the way in which autonomous cars operate, but it's also down to us. You see, legislators are, for the most part, in the dark about self-driving tech, how those cars operate, and therefore they're cautious to take steps to legalize self-driving cars in case there's either a public backlash or a gap in understanding that leads to a headline-grabbing accident that has negative effects on those same people. But the second part of the roadblock comes from the technology itself, or rather the person in charge of operating the vehicle with the technology on board. And it's this problem that's really stalling a lot of progress. You see, a lot of the technologies currently in development, including those mentioned above, are not fully autonomous yet. They're level two, level three, or level four technology, which means that humans are still required to be present and awake at all times in case something goes horribly wrong. They're the backup for the car, and vice versa is true when the human is driving and the car is keeping watch. And we humans are the weak link. We get distracted by the kids in the back seat or by tuning the radio or taking that important phone call. And when we get distracted, we miss things because we're human. We also get bored, tired, and sick. And we take things that impair our judgment or otherwise alter our level of alertness, whether they're prescription or not. Worse still, level two, level three, and level four autonomous vehicle technology is conditional. And before we can safely make use of that tech on the road, we need to understand the conditions under which these technologies operate. And that we is collective, encompassing legislators, drivers, and other road users. Because when we don't understand how it all works, well, we make mistakes. But wait, we've been here before. When the automatic car first debuted, people struggled with the whole not changing gear thing. When cruise control was new, some people crashed because they didn't fully understand how to turn cruise control off. And as so many confused Tesla customers have illustrated, crashes are possible when you rely on the car and you don't know if the technology is engaged or not. The US House of Representatives is about to start considering a suite of legislations which will start the ball rolling when it comes to the legality of autonomous vehicles. They're going to bar states from having their own rules and making it a national issue rather than a local issue. Similarly, around the rest of the world, other legislative bodies are following suit. But in order for this to progress smoothly, we not only need to define the technologies better and how they operate, but we need to ensure drivers are better trained to use them. And that means ensuring autonomous vehicle tech is part of driver's ed programs and driving tests around the world. What's really strangling the self-driving car right now? We are because we're lazy, because we like to use technology for things that they weren't intended for, because we like to break the rules and push our luck. As Elon Musk once said, we're soon gonna have a point in the future where we're not going to be allowed to drive. And I think he's probably right. As a car fan, I'd love to say he's wrong, but honestly, I'm struggling. After all, at one time we had to build our own houses, make our own clothes and kill our own food. Who does that today? 
Well, that's it. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bar and click on the Patreon link at the end of this video if you want to help me make more of these videos. Until next time, keep evolving!